Unfortunately, the winds up are really, really strong, even though the winds here down on the ground are actually very nice. So what's been nice is that everybody's been able to inflate their balloons, as you can just see by the sea of balloons behind me. Um, a lot of folks have just decided to inflate their balloons and hang out. This morning, we decided to ride the bus from the RV park. It was super easy. It did not take long. I think we waited maybe seven minutes at the stop and we had just missed the bus it wasn't full they dropped us off right here by the media tent and we walked right in there was no line i think by the time we rolled in it was about seven o'clock and so i would highly recommend being able to take shuttles in the morning keep in mind that getting here on the shuttle is a lot easier than getting out of here because kind of everyone starts finishing up when the balloons take off after mass ascension and they all want to head out but in the morning you know, these hundreds of thousands of people are trickling in a lot slower um, than getting hammered all at once. One of the cool things that the pilots do is they actually carry like trading cards. And so some fun things that the kids get to do is they get to go up and they get to ask the pilots for a trading card. things that you definitely want to bring with you. Um, I would say uh, hand wipes, hand sanitizer for sure. Um, by mid-morning yesterday the porta potties were pretty disgusting and um, no hand sanitizer or wash stations outside of them. Extra pair of socks for the early mornings, the dew on the grass um, soaks through your feet pretty quickly so a change of socks for the rest of the day would probably be a good idea. The Gondola Club is a um, ticket that you can purchase here at the Balloon Fiesta. Um, it's a little bit of a pricier ticket. You purchase per session so you would purchase a morning session or an evening session with the Gondola Club. Um, it's I believe a hundred dollars a person but you get a um, VIP parking lot and they actually shuttle you from your car up to the club itself. Full buffet, all you can eat buffet is an open bar. Tables to sit at, fire pits, propane heaters um, to keep you warm on those cold chilly mornings. Private restrooms inside the club and they are like flushable toilets, not porta potties. So that is definitely a perk as well. So you can go and come into the field as you please. Um, easy access on and off the field. So from what we've seen, the Gondola Club seems pretty awesome. Okay. Pin training is a big part of the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. It's been happening for years and years and years. Um, there's all kinds of places. The regular merchandise tent has pins. There's also this great shop that has tons of pins. They're all different ones but have been made for um, 2018. There's special shapes like Clark has. There's just regular hot air balloons. I mean, everything you can imagine. Sparkly ones, big ones, small ones. There's all kinds. But um, they have special pin trading days during the Balloon Fiesta. Stuff. So um, be sure to check out pins. It's a fun activity for the kids.
So one of the things that I found out this morning um, while I was waiting on the balloon ride is that a couple of the other full-time family members, they had rented some Canon cameras from the Canon tent on site. And um, they said, all you have to do is provide a driver's license and you can rent for free these nice lenses and cameras so you can take the photos or videos. Um, and then you just return them. They'll give you the SIM card that's inside. The Canon will actually clean your whole camera get rid of all the dust, clean your lens, um, and you can make appointments or you can drop off and it takes about half an hour. So if you're on site and you need your camera clean, that's also another great um, resource that Canon provides. All right guys, hope that helps you plan your um, Albuquerque balloon fiesta trip.